everyone it definitely has been a while i hope you guys have been enjoying the sustainability career series that came out recently um i Thank you so much to my near and dear friends for taking the time to just share a little bit about what they do and hope that it provided you guys some guidance and some um, words of wisdom to see what it is that you guys might want to do in the future. And so since this is a vlog, I thought I'd share a little bit about my October journey and all that it is pumpkin. just wanted to flash some quick pros of working in corporate sustainability one being that you're gonna be working with pretty like-minded people and those are the people that are gonna be in your team and it's really great because it's like I feel like for me outside of work and school and all that I didn't really have a lot of people to talk to about these passions that I have about the environment so it's really cool that everyone on the team is very driven to reach the same goals as you and trying to make the world a better place essentially. The second thing is that typically since teams are more on the smaller end in corporate sustainability because at this moment, you know, they're still trying to hire and make the teams bigger because it wasn't until recently where it became such a really high importance to shareholders, internal, external stakeholders and all that. Um, but yeah, typically the teams are smaller and so what you're gonna find is that the people on your team probably have their own specialization and it's cool because you can learn from them. Um, for example, there's someone on my team who's really specialized in data analysis and research and he's just really, really good at it. And even though I have that technical background, those are some of the skills I'm looking to improve on in the future and so it's been really cool to ask specialized people on my team how they do their specializations and just learn from them um, to enhance my skills. In that same regard, in a sustainability team, you're never just working in your sole team. You're always going to be working with cross-functional teams as well. You get to expand and see what else is out there beyond your own department. You got to see how other teams work, how they function, um, understand their processes and then that overall just gives you a more holistic understanding of how a company and a business operates. All right, last thing. Very obvious, but the work that you'll be doing will always have some type of environmental impact or social impact. And I think when you're doing work all the time, I don't feel like I can be doing anything and using my time unless I'm trying to help people in some way or trying to make a difference in the world no matter how big or small. And that's the type of work that you're going to be doing. Even if you're just organizing data, doing some scheduling of meetings, organizing folders, strategizing, no matter what it is, it's going to help with the impacts that you want to have on this world. And I think that's awesome because there's some people who work in all these jobs, they spend their time all the time just doing it and all it's doing is just helping the business profit. We gotta wake up every day, even if we're damn tired, and then we gotta remember that, ugh, even though I don't wanna work today, I know that what I'm gonna be doing today is gonna still make an impact in some way. Um, so I think that's been a really cool thing and really not a lot of people can say that. So yeah, just those are my three pros and later on in this video, I'll talk about some cons in working in this field. So stay tuned. Wow. We did it. We literally wow. finished it like five. Oh my god. How long, how long did it take it? It's so good. Oh my god. We only oh my god. Cheap first time. <laughs> hey guys. So today we're going to be making a vegan pumpkin bread and I already started on the process. It's my first time actually using a real pumpkin. Um, I usually just use the puree in the cans but picked it out at Safeway. It's in the oven now roasting 
you roast it for about um, 45 minutes on 350. It's gonna come out soon, but I hope it's gonna taste good because I've never tried it before and I'm seriously looking forward to it. So during this baking a little segment, I'm gonna be sharing a little bit about the cons of working in corporate sustainability because there's so many pros, um, but there's also just some cons too. You know, no work is perfect. So hope you guys can just get something out of it. So we just finished roasting our pumpkin. You see, it's like really soft. Oh God, it's burning my hands. But all right, the YouTube video said to take the skin out by, oh, it's not coming out so easily. As I'm trying to peel this off, one of the cons I can share, when I say cons, I don't mean it's so, so bad, you know, it's just some of the not best things that happen. Um, one of the cons I'd say is that typically in corporate sustainability, the teams are very small and it's because it's still kind of an emerging topic, right? And important for some companies. Other more established companies, they typically have a little bigger teams. And when I say bigger, um, it's not like a whole department of 20 people or something, but it could be way less than that. And um, my current team is actually kind of growing. So we have three people for the consumer product side. And I know for some other companies, they just started the department and so are just starting out with um, around three people as well. But you, you'll come to realize that it's pretty typical for the teams to not be the hugest. I know some of my friends who work more in finance, since a lot of the time with finance, they have to try and um, consult. There's a little bit more, um, there are a little bit larger teams in that way. So I think one of my friends, she works at a bank and her team is about nine people-ish, nine to 11. So it really does depend, but it's typically, it's very typical to only have like one person, one to three people, five people. So yeah, that would probably be one of them. Okay, so we're gonna be mixing in all the wet ingredients that we have and earlier I did put together the dry ingredients so don't need to worry about that now but yeah this is supposed to be a vegan recipe and when I went grocery shopping I thought the flax seeds in the recipe um, I thought that was supposed to be you know the seeds that go on top of it but I guess the ground flax seed is the thing that makes that egg texture substitute and yeah I just wasn't aware of that so now we're just using an egg and it's no longer vegan but whatever <laughs> it just still tastes pretty good Now that that's in the oven, a second con would probably be that since the teams are pretty small, that means that you're gonna be doing a lot of work. And I cannot emphasize that enough because you'll never have a day where you have nothing to do. But the fun parts are that you're not always doing one of the same things over and over again, you know? You're doing a lot of different stuff and being involved and pulled into a lot of different directions and so getting exposure to a lot of things. So that can be a pro or an a con. Um, either way that you see it, but if you do want to become more focused, look for those types of jobs, you know, not ones that are more general. So, just a heads up. She's going at it. Hershey! Oh my gosh! She has so much pumpkin on her face! Just like, get this camera away from me. <laughs> so cute. Here is final product. 
it's a little more dense because of the almond flour not as fluffy but you gotta make work with what you got mm. oh god it's hot as a last con one of the things about working in court sustainability is that since you know the teams are small and then you have a lot of work to do there's also a lot of shift in priorities that might happen. So then, you know, a lot of the projects are driven, if you're in a public company, it's driven by um, your shareholders and it really just depends on what they want and whatever the internal and external stakeholders are, what competitors are doing. So it might be that you focus on greenhouse gases right now, but then in a couple of years, if a new topic comes in and that's what's on top of mind for everyone, a lot of your work's gonna be pushed that way too. So a lot of it is driven by external internal influences and that's just something you have to get used to. But it also makes it exciting too, knowing that it's always shifting and hopefully towards a better future. So some of my cons and pros throughout this video, probably gonna watch the new season of Love is Blind season three. So I'll see you guys next time. Hershey, you wanna try? Oh. oh yeah, she likes that.